Hello my fellow comic nerds, it's us Comic Cousins. Welcome to our another video. Today we are going to discuss about God the God Butcher and all the current information relating to him and the upcoming movie from Marvel Studios that is Thor Love and Thunder. In the video we will be discussing about origin of God and everything relating to him. Now we already know that God the God Butcher will be played by Christian Bale which is just mind blowing. Marvel probably would not have found a better person to play this role in my opinion. The movie Thor Love and Thunder will be releasing on 7th of July 2022 which is right around the corner. So without killing someone you once worshipped, let's jump right into the video. God the God Butcher is a super villain appearing in the Marvel comics which was created by Jason Aaron and Esad Rebek who decided to relaunch the Thor franchise during the Marvel Now initiative. God first appeared in Thor God of Thunder issue number 1 published in 2013. Now in the comics, God the God Butcher was born on a planet with no name which was almost every day on the brink of starvation. He was taught to trust in the gods but they never answered his prayers. At an early age his mother and father died, leaving God to fend for himself in the harsh environment. Years later he married and fathered some children. God's wife, whose name was Era, while being pregnant was killed during an earthquake and one by one his children also perished until he was left with one son, Eger. God treks with him and his tribes away from their barren wasteland seeking a more resourceful area of the planet. However, his son did not survive the journey. God loses all faith in the gods, committing unholy acts such as burying his son underground, a practice forbidden by his culture, and saying there are no gods to take care of them. His tribe exiled him, saying he was of the black gods. While wandering the desert praying to die, God witnessed a pair of battling gods, a dark elder god called Null and gold-armored purple-skinned god empowered by the Enigma Force, plunged out of the sky and crash land nearby. Shocked by the realization that God did exist, God was enraged when their gold-armored god begged for help. The dark god saw transforming into an amorphous mass of living darkness and bonding to him. God used his new weapon All Black the Necro Sword to kill the gold armored god then vowed to seek revenge against all gods for never answering his prayers and set out to kill them all. God spent the next thousands of years torturing and butchering gods and creating an army of black berserkers. When God attacked the god Cronux, he claimed the pool for forever, used it to travel through the time stream, arriving in various times. He went back to the start of the universe to slay one of the first elder gods and then far into the future to designate Earth 14412, where he, where he enslaved all the gods except for All Father Thor, aka King Thor, whom he tormented for 900 years. God indentured the gods to construct a device to kill anyone of divinity known as the God Bomb. The Thor of the present, the Avenger from Earth 616, eventually noticed the missing gods and investigated their disappearance. Now we might see the same thing or something similar to this happening in the movie because we saw that Thor went to Olympus disguised which means he wasn't invited and there is a high chance that he went there to investigate the disappearances of the gods cause why in the world would he disguise himself being a god himself. Now during this investigation brought Gor and Thor to another battle but Gor then teleported into the future along with Thor where an aged Thor was last as guardian defending the realm against the shadow berserkers where Thor joined forces with the Thor of the future that is King Thor to defeat the god Butcher. Meanwhile, the young Thor of the Viking Age escaped God's slavery. He attempted to kill the god Bomb using a piece of star, but it blew him off a planet where he met up with his future selves, King Thor and 
the Avenger Thor. King Thor struck Gore with his hammer, sending him light years away, and the, for the first time, Gore felt afraid. To gain more power, he ordered his army of dark minions to kill all the gods he enslaved, which fueled his power and allowed him to defeat the three Thors. When Gore activated the god bomb, the symbiote construct of his wife called him out as a god. Angry at the accusation, he killed her. The construct of his son Ega then allied the Thor Avenger to bring down his father who he saw had become the very thing he fought over a millennia to destroy. Thor the Avenger with Aegir's player and remaining gods across time and space absorbed the full might of the god bomb and Gore's necrosword using the blast power Thor we weakened Gore as Aegir called his father the god of hypocrisy. The younger Thor finally slayed Gore the god butcher. Now, the movie might end here if Marvel plans to use Gore for any future projects because after this a large story arc is left as source material. So for the last arc, Gore's consciousness survived inside the All Black. Gore was later resurrected by Loki Lofison aka Loki, the new host to All Black. Gore reclaimed the All Black back from him and impaled him in the back. He crucified Thor and Loki and vowed to destroy Midgard and make Thor watch. He engulfed both brothers into the All Black but shortly thereafter, gods who Thor previously saved were awakened by the goddess of thunder. These gods liberated Thor and Loki and together they finally defeated Gore and the All Black symbiote. Without the symbiote, Gore became mortal and left without his memories. Now talking about his power and abilities, as said before, Gore possesses All Black the Necrosword, which according to Galactus, carved the first dawn from stone of the endless night. The blade was forged by Null, the progenitor of Clinter species, using the head of a slain celestial. Now those who don't know, Clinter is the name of the planet where Symbiote species lived in. So in other words, symbiote species are referred to as clinter species. The blade allows its user to create wings that allow the user to fly at extreme speeds, weapons and a shroud of berserkers constructed out of darkness. He can create sharp tendrils that can kill any god including Asgardians. From God's thoughts, he can mold the shape-shifting symbiote necrosword to form an armor around his body and produce weapons, which are limited only by his thoughts. One of his weapons, All Black the Necrosword, extends from his arms and is made from living darkness. The symbiote also provides him with the ability to regenerate. The blade is later banished into a black hole but an elderly king, Thor, uses it to battle Galactus. God also created the God Bomb, an anti-divinity armament designed to kill every god who had existed or ever would exist. God possesses superhuman strength, durability, and endurance and is also virtually immortal. Well, in the end, I would like to say that God is a very simple yet devastating character who has a simple goal and he is so determined that it took three Thors including King Thor to stop Gore. His simplicity as a character makes him unique and also very dangerous. I have high hopes for Christian Bale and I know he will blend in perfectly with the character and the environment and play his role and portray Gore perfectly. Well, the Jane's part might also play out the same where she gets cancer and then gets worthy. I mean so much worthy that she literally hold, held the Mjolnir, put herself back for her to build it. Now if I come to the plot of the movie, I think it will pretty much play out like it did in comics. But I'm not sure about the present means our Thor joining forces with the past and the future Thor part as we have seen now how time travel works in the MCU but never say never who knows Taika Watiti might even pull this off. So guys that's all from us for this video please do comment how you feel about Christian Bale as Gore and how much excited you are to see him on the big screen and with this we will end our video here. 
if you liked our video then click the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel then do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome content like this to so stay safe stay curious and stay nerdy we will meet you in the next video bye bye